Tesla Giga Texas production speed changes everything. The investors of Tesla had been working painstakingly on making the company stand. In fact, they really had an incredible year in 2021. The corporation joined the ranks of majors such as Microsoft, Alphabet, which is Google's parent company, and Facebook. They had a market valuation of $1 trillion, which was such a great work. Tesla's stock prices continue to rise, and the company had done well for itself without any doubt. In this video, we're going to examine how Tesla Giga Texas production speed changes everything. So watch this video to the very end because it will be exciting. It was reported that Tesla has ramped up production at Giga Factory Texas to thousands of units weekly, adding the Model Y long range on top of the standard range version. Elon Musk did explain during an interview with Tesla owners of Silicon, idea of Silicon Valley, which is like, you know, not on point, but the fourth or fifth episode season one it really starts to get good and then by season two it's amazing of silicon valley that the company's new factories are money furnaces one of these factories is the giga factory texas which is also one of tesla's most important projects this factory has invested billions of dollars in the factory and sure will not break even until the plant reaches volume production currently tesla produces four electric vehicles in, in various factories worldwide with the second generation roadster cyber truck and even semi truck and a another model on the way. Tesla still has a lot of work to do. That is why the company needs the Gigafactories to complete its pledges to its customers. The Tesla CEO refers to the Gigafactories as machines that produce machines. It is safe to say that these Gigafactories are very important for Tesla and the entire IT industry. According to a report made by Electrek, just recently, Giga Texas is now able to produce at least 2,000 vehicles weekly since the Model Y long range was offered to customers. Well, some other sources revealed that the company had already been producing as many as 5,000 cars per week. This is impressive, but they're not stopping there. Either way, in either case, reaching a run rate of more than 5,000 vehicles may not be difficult for Tesla to achieve without even considering that the facility was just open last April. Along with the new Cybertruck, Musk unveiled a new Roadster vehicle which will go into production next Next year. He also gave a hint on a robo-taxi. He described this taxi as a futuristic one. However, he didn't explain or provide any basic information as regards to the project. Tesla now has four facilities in the United States. How impressive could this be? The company has a vehicle factory in Vermont, California, a solar factory in Buffalo, New York, and the battery factory in Sparks, Nevada. What's more, the company also has a vehicle manufacturing facility outside of Shanghai, China. Recently, Tesla also launched its first European factory outside Berlin, Germany. Tesla paid around $5 million for the site outside of Austin and a further $1.1 billion to develop the factory. You may be wondering why the company paid such a whopping amount for the factory. Well, it's basically because they need progress. Elon Musk said, we need to be huge somewhere and there's no place like Texas. He also said that the company would execute quite a lot of things on a very large scale, and that's exactly what they're doing. This achievement came just within two years or less. This was after the Tesla CEO announced that Austin would be the site of the company's future Gigafactory. It was also less than a year after Tesla officially located its headquarters from California to Texas. Remember that Musk does not only run the new Gigafactory, he also runs a SpaceX site in Brownsville, Texas. Perhaps he wants these two major ideologies to be in one city, contrary to where he was said to be staying in Texas at a friend multi-million dollar mansion on a lake in Austin, Elon Musk disputed this claim as he said he currently lives in a small home near Boca Chica, Texas. Elon focuses more on his companies and how to make them reach the milestone they've always dreamed of, and he pays little regard to where he stays or sleeps. The construction of the new Gigafactory is expected to increase Tesla's capacity in the United States, which
which has been limited due to the current space issues. In 2018, the firm had to place a tent outside its Friedmont, California factory to fulfill some production goals. Musk stated at the time that the company's California factory was bursting at the seams. Tesla did say that one of the goals is to manufacture 1.5 million vehicles in 2022, up from slightly less than 1 million vehicles last year, which gives us a 50% increment. Even after all these achievements, they don't just come without some obstructions or strife. Everything doesn't always come easily, obviously. And according to Bloomberg, local conservationists criticize the company's Berlin manufacturing plan. More broadly, Tesla has been under fire for its labor policies and workplace safety problems, most especially at its Fremont manufacturing. Regardless of all these achievements, production speed and even obstructions, Tesla has made strong sales in the first quarter of 2022, having sold 310,048 cars. The company is not relenting anytime soon, and we hope to see more and more of this production. Well, that's it for today, guys. If you're optimistic about the future of technology, do well and subscribe to this channel and give this video a like. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.